Thank you, Mama. While driving through Jamaica, you have to stop and get a coconut water for wash up your heart. We're in our Feel With Culture segment and in the segment this week, we're featuring Chanel Muir and her backstory and inspiration for her 2020 hit song, Yamabella. Chanel, what you say? Feel Culture is powered by Ray White Overproof Rum. Culture. It's your real top girl, Chanel Muir, and right about now, just look out for everything while we'll I go on because I got into details with how Yamabella came about, so stay tuned here. Yeah? I will live by only for impress people. Yeah. And then I know how to live for impress people. Yamabella which was um, released in September of 2020, it's almost two years old. Um, the backstory behind it, in that time frame, what was happening was this phrase called Yamed. So basically, to my understanding, Yamed was any man or woman who, you know, was being extra submissive to, the, to a person, even if it, it brings them fault, basically. So what I wanted to do at the moment, too, because I realized, like, within the music world, I didn't really hear anybody advocating for women or anybody at all who didn't really have much according to the media but um they still were doing something for themselves and they were still successful in their own eyes I, nobody was advocating for them to my understanding of what i saw at the moment and i wanted to be that person to be that voice for them you know because at the end of the day not everybody wears brands me not spend me rent in a no party and now buy patron if my door have a pot right now me deep when i say 40. and at the time i was working at hilton and I was working um, at, at nights, actually. It was just, just before the whole pandemic came in. And, you know, I was getting back on my musical game because I was out at the, the music for a few, a few years. I wasn't doing a lot of music and I was getting back on track with that. And Papi Dan had sent me that rhythm like three months before. And because I was in between work and I work nights, sleep in the day. So it's like I don't really get enough time to do the music as I wanted to. But, um... Around that time, I got laid off after the whole pandemic thing hit and I wasn't working as much. So I was doing a lot of lives and stuff like that. And I wrote that song one night when he, he sent me the beat and he was asking for an update because the producers, which were um, Top Broth Entertainment, wanted to know, you know, if they could get the track going. And I sat down and I was thinking about the whole concept of the song to write it. Because when I'm going to write, I have to have a... a I, lo I love to write songs that has that's very meaningful. When I was writing the song, I thought about like the whole term yamhead. I'm like, how can I create a, a musical sound around it and give it a meaning? And then I thought about... In the same breath, I was thinking about um, Vibes Cartel song, Annabella, Annabella Punchinella, and I was like, hmm, Yamed, Yamabe. Okay, I was like, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Were you surprised that the song took off the way it did? Honestly, I was surprised because obviously that's never happened to me before. So um, the thing is, though, every time I do write, I write to have a song to take off. Like that's my always my aim with any song I write. I'm writing it to the best of my ability so that it will always have that potential. What kind of doors did the song success open for you musically, career wise? Um, Yamabella opened a door that could never be closed. You know, and the only person that can close that door is me. Being able to perform in so many different places, um, being able to meet different producers with so much talent, because trust and believe there's so much talent out there, especially with everybody who plays a part in creating the music and, you know, getting it out there and marketing and everything and networking and stuff like that. So it really opened the door for me financially. Did you know that Chanel Muir was a contestant in the Magnum King and Queen of Dancehall competition in 2016? Yup, she was. And she went on to do great things, as you know. Let's hear the top 10 songs in the country in your Magnum top 10 chart. Take charge. Take 
Like a boy, girl, dog, been no poor Stop one like you know what this, you know what this girl with your wife give me bread. Hella girl figure, chat all you want, but you can't touch me. If not give in to frustration, I the cream I the cup of frosty. We are talk about life changes. Remember this man of Go to car, we have hundred chop. Molly get pop ball blitter. Another ending love story. Catch me in my brand new 23 I'm a ripped jeans straight from f- Bad shirt about the jeans match with a polo what bad Go check your stats easy and watch the match Well that's how we close another exciting episode of your favorite pop culture, lifestyle and entertainment show Predis I've been your host the milky one Catch me on social media and for now stay safe Until next week bye bye Predis was brought to you in partnership with Magnum Tonic Wine, Tech Charge, Ray White Overproof Rum, Fuey Culture, CB Chicken, The Better Tasting Chicken, and Bad Dog Sausages, Bigger, Better, Butter.